Hey everybody, today I'm going to go over my sales for the last two days. Today is November 20th, 2024, and I saw on eBay, Poshmark, Etsy, Mercari, but we're just going to go over three platforms of those are the ones that I've sold on. I ship every other day, so this is two days worth of sales, and I will pop all the information up in the corner for you guys. I sold a total of 16 items, and I sold four on eBay, five on Poshmark, and seven on Etsy. Um, for a total of $599 gross. Um, keep in mind, my cost of goods is super cheap, but the platforms do have their fees. So, okay, so the first item we have going out on eBay, I've literally had for over three years. I should have lowered the price a long time ago, but it's these 90s denim embroidered lace-up shoes. They look like heads. The next item to sell is a Carhartt flannel plaid men's button-down shirt. It used to be my husband's and it shrank too much. If you know cotton flannel, um, it does typically shrink. So it became too small and I sold that for $35, which is great because that's pretty much pure profit minus the fees. And that one took two months to sell. The next item that was exciting was a was a Johnny was shirt. It was was how many times can I say that in one sentence? Not the prettiest. It was yellow long sleeve button down. It had the eyelet lace that had this cute like turquoise detail, but not the cutest in my opinion. And I was kind of surprised to get sixty dollars for it. Uh, it was five dollars, and again, it took two months to sell. The next item was super cute kitschy vintage vinyl round tablecloth with the fringe detail. These, um, I, I think these vegetables uh, had faces on them. There's a term for this. Let me click on the title and read it to you. And, okay, it's not my title, but it's like anthro something. Uh, really cute, retro. It took a month to sell for $35. I think I had it listed for $40 and somebody sent me an offer. And I accepted I always have the buyer's pay for shipping across platforms. This does not include free shipping, so I do keep that in mind. Now we're going to move on to Poshmark sales for the last few days. And again, I had five of those. That kind of surprised me. I got this L.L. Bean Women's Pullover, just navy blue, really standard. It was a newer item. I think they still have it on their website. It's the Casual Rugsby Pullover Henley Shirt. In a large I got that a few weeks ago for a dollar and sold it for 29 on posh which surprised me because the comps on eBay were 20 somebody bought it right out the next item I had in my personal closet for a few years it was really cute Sherpa tan and it had like leopard print on it a jacket by Olivacious and it sold for $25 I believe that was an offer somebody had sent me the next is, so just because something's designer does not mean it's worth a whole lot. This just goes to show you, and this is actually, tech. I don't know if it's technically Christian Dior. Anyways, is a navy blue standard men's sports jacket uh, designed by Christian Dior. It did have the Dior tag on the inside. The liner had the monogram CD, uh, but it was... A different brand on it as well so I got this for a dollar and sold it in two weeks for 44 it's a men's size 40 my cat oh my gosh I'm trying to put my daughter down for a nap and she goes and meows at the door <clears throat> okay the next is something I've had listed since June but <laughs> it's more like a seasonal item. It's a Steinbach Germany racy skier boy or girl. Cute little wooden thing. It was still actually in the box. I don't know if it was new or not, but it sold for $26. My take home was $20.80. I paid 50 cents for this. I did get this at the Goodwill outlet. The next item that sold is, uh, is it Kappa Gamma. I can't remember, but it's really popular in the 90s and the early 2000s. It was just a 90s men's pair of athletic shorts. It's got the uh, 
silhouette or like the shadow of two women at back to back sitting. You know what I'm talking about? Sometimes you'll see it like on pickup trucks. And the sold for $30. An offer was sent to me for $30. I paid $2 and I did accept it. Took three, a little less than three months to sell. Okay, so those are the Poshmark sales. Um, I can't remember if I told you, I made $157 on eBay, $154 on Poshmark, and Etsy, I made $288. And now we're going to move to Etsy where uh, my sales have picked up for a few weeks. They were pretty stale and I was getting a little concerned as it's Q4. So this item I've had for, I'd say at least two years, and it's this like vintage wood uh, board for educational, it's a spelling board. And it's for homeschooling, it's probably from the 50s or era or so, possibly sooner. And it was just really neat. Um, it had the letters and numbers. The comps on eBay were so low. I think they're like only $15. I didn't even put it on eBay. I just listed it on Etsy and it sold for $24.99. I did probably start it at $40, which was too high. And I didn't pay much for it. I'd say a dollar, maybe $2. But again, I've had it literally probably for two to three years. So kind of a something I should have donated and moved on. But next item I have is Vintage Vera Bradley Tote. This one I got because it it almost looked kind of like Noah's Ark. It just had safari animals on it. It was vintage. I do like selling the vintage ones on Etsy. And it's the safari print floral tote. It was a 10 by 11. Um, I got it really cheap somewhere, like at the bins, or I paid a dollar or two for it. I didn't notice till I got home that it had wear, like significant wear on the corners and on the handle. It wasn't super obvious. It didn't actually have a hole, like go through all the way through the fabric. It looked okay. Sold it for a whole, I think, $20, $24. Um, Etsy, I do have an uptick in people sending me offers. On Etsy, you can opt into it, I believe. They started a beta program last year, and you can have up to, can you have your whole store now? And people can send you offers up to 20%, which I like that because they can't lowball you. And that's how it was. I also got an offer on one of the other items as well. Two, two of these items. Three, okay, so three out of the seven sales on Etsy were people sending me offers, which I'm okay with. This next one is a gorgeous vintage women's embroidered belt, like rainbow colors, quality leather, love it, very boho, um, and it sold for $35. I've probably had this listed for six months plus. Um, I don't have the date I listed it on my SKU, so. Okay, the next item is vintage 90s camo. It's a men's graphic t-shirt with a deer on it. I mean, it was very like hunter, very Midwest. I'm from the middle of nowhere and everybody wears camo and hunts. So that one sold for $30 and I had that listed for two months and paid $2 for it. The next one had a few faint blemishes on it. Um, baby quilt if you know me at all uh you can follow me on instagram my name is also thrifting is my beach i try to post daily um or by week or by twice a week sales across the platforms um because i'm not always the greatest at staying consistent with content on youtube but anyways i found this really cute boy like sports themed hand stitched quilt um it did have a few faint blemishes on it that typically does not deter me because it's vintage it's almost to be expected when you have an older item. I paid a dollar for it and sold it for an offer. I sold it for $34 and I had this one listed for three weeks. I was okay taking the offer because my cost of goods is so low and another one had sold elsewhere and I thought it was in better condition so I went ahead and accepted that offer. I also have offers automatically sent if somebody leaves an item in their cart on Etsy for, I believe, 15% off. And I do see some of my sales from that coupon code that's automatically sent. The last, I or note the 
second to last item to sell on Etsy is Oneida. It's community flatware silverware. If you don't look at the silverware when you see sets at yard sales or the thrift store, you really should. I did not know until maybe a year ago the value of flatware, depending on the style. Um, simply Google Lens is your best friend because there are so many different dupes and uh, brands. But I had the Oneida Community, a lot of 14, Brahms, stainless flatware. Um, sold for, I had it listed for 75 and somebody sent me an offer for 60 and I did accept because I believe I've had this listed, yeah, I've had it listed since July, so enough time has gone by uh, that I did accept that, plus I didn't pay much for it, so the next item was very exciting. I only had this listed for a few days. This was at Goodwill at the checkout. They had just literally put it out. It was $2.50, and I know this from part-time pickers and Oh, Matt and what's her name? I watch them all the time on YouTube, but they have recently found like some Erz, Erzenberg or Erzberg German um, items. And so this immediately caught my eye because it had the curled um, hand carved tree. It's uh, Expertic as, but I'm going to butcher this, Erz, Erzberg <laughs> German Christmas Pyramid Candle Spinner. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't have the candles, but you can just buy smaller candles to replace. I believe this is older, like I'm going to say 60s era. It did still have the brand stickers on the bottom, which helped me identify it. Also Google Lens, um, but I sold it. It did have damage to it. They're very delicate because the wood is so thin. Two of the blades that spin had actually kind of split, so I did use super glue and disclose that they were repaired and I did show it in photos and it still sold for $80 and I am very excited. Luckily it's not going too far north of here because if it's going international I would be a little bit hesitant because it is so delicate. I do try to wrap my items very very well. I'm very particular with how I ship um, I don't just kind of cross my fingers <laughs> with that one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little what's sold over the last few days. I have had some really nice sales recently. I do need to do like highlights of the items, you know, for like 50 plus because these are just everything that's sold in the last two days. But I have, you know, had an uptick for Q4. So I'm very excited. And I hope you guys are also doing well and staying healthy in this season. And I will catch you on my next video. Bye.